guys welcome back to my channel if you are new on my channel thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel so in today's video we are going to be trying out some dupes that I found in my collection that I want to share with you guys testing out two dupes that I think is close to the Fenty collection the first one is from the Fenty cream blushes and the other one is a lip gloss I think that these two products are very close and if you guys on a budget you know you still want to rock the Fenty collection but you don't have the money I have some options for you guys so if you guys want to see what I got for you guys keep on watching <laughs> I did two videos on the Fenty blushes and I really love them. I also tried on my cheekbones and I tried on my lips. I will put the video right up here if you guys missed that video. Girl, I think this dupe is close to it and so we're gonna see. This is the cream blush here and this is the Chick Out cream blush and this one here is 09 Cool Berry. And I love Cool Berry. I told you guys in my last video about this. Did use it on my lips and you could do whatever you want with these. But I prefer it on my lips, okay? Now the one that I think that is really close to this color. This is from CoverGirl. And this is a Clean Fresh Cream Blush. This is ripe and ready. And this is also vegan. I don't remember how much this is but I think this is around $12. Cool Berry is such a beautiful shade. That's one of my favorite shades from the Fenty blush line ripe and ready from covergirl and this one here is cool berry okay I think that is really really close if you guys want to try this out I actually never tried out ripe and ready so we both gonna see how it looks on my cheekbones I do like the formula more on the covergirl side because it's a little bit more Pigmented I think it's a little bit more pigmented to me. It is a little bit sheer as Fenty. It's best to use your fingers instead of the brush. So this is the same thing with the cover girl Okay, and the texture and the formula is like the same. It's just one is a little lighter than the other Fenty has this lip glosses that is really expensive uh, like it is expensive because it's around $19 for one. This is the Colourpop Luxe gloss this shade is come through now come through is a little bit more lighter than the Fenty glow this is one of the first lip gloss that they came up with okay and then they have dupes all over the place you don't have to go and get the Fenty one so I think this is really good so I'm gonna swatch the Fenty glow one first product smells so good I'm not gonna take too much because girl anything expensive this one here is from Colourpop I actually looked at the other shades I'm not interested in them so I really didn't care for it I'm gonna put that on the side and I'm gonna take a little bit more so you guys could see and I'm just gonna blend it with this so this one here is the Fenty Glow and this one here is Come Through from Colourpop. Colourpop is maybe around $6 for this lip gloss. I just really love the gloss. I'm hoping that the texture is the same as Fenty but we'll see. I just like Come Through. That's the only one I like from the bunch but they have other shades in the Lux gloss collection if you guys want to try out more I'm not gonna buy all of them because I really don't like the texture of these I just think that it, they're terrible so I'm gonna take a little bit and I'm, I'm gonna blend it on my hand first I'm gonna take that and put it here blend it maybe the brush is a little bit much better Because it looks like it dries down a little too fast for me. But since this is a cream blush, you need to use a brush so you can move the product. So this is what it looks like. I actually do like it. But I don't like the fact that when you put it on your cheekbones, it just like sits right there. So you need to move it. And I like to bring it up a little bit more over here. But girl, look at this. I really do like this color. And I put a lot so you guys can see. Okay, I love this. So I'm gonna use this brush. This is from uh, Sodona Lace and this is number 217. And I'm just gonna dip it in here. I'm gonna dip enough 
I'm gonna take it off and I'm just gonna start off like so. So I'm doing it like if I'm putting on my highlighter so you guys could see. So I'm just gonna bring it up here. I'm just doing like an L shape. Okay, you guys see the difference? They are spot on when I have it on my hands. You see, it looks spot on. And you guys see that it's there, but it's more on the glowy side. That's why I told you guys you could use this on your lips because you see, it looks very, very glowy. And this is more on the matte side. This dries down really fast. I really do like it. I honestly like this side a little bit much better because I can see the color. Let's just try out the lip gloss, okay? I'm gonna put ColourPop on the top. And this is ColourPop here. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the Fenty Glow, which is my favorite. And I'm gonna put that in the bottom here. This is what both of them looks like. You honestly can't even tell which one is which. What I could tell you guys about the color pop, if you put like too much of it talking, it's just gonna flick up. It's just gonna look like really, really disgusting. So you don't wanna put too much of it, but I put a little bit more so you guys could see the color. And it really don't look that bad at all. It's like really, really spot on. Cause I had this on my hand for a long time and it looks really close, okay? All of this product look very, very close. I could see it now. It looks good. You just don't want to put too much because it's a little sticky so if your hair is in the way it's gonna stick on it that's why i always like putting my hair back because it's sticking on the blush i think it's a close match i'm not saying the exact same thing but it is a close match now the lip gloss girl i really do like color pop stuff i think this lip gloss is around six dollars and if you guys could see, the shade is a little bit more brighter with the Fenty. This one is a little bit more lighter, but still, when you put it on, you can't even tell. Let me just show you guys the applicator. Like, it picks up a lot of it. So, you need to be careful. And the applicator is like the same thing as the Fenty. When you're talking, you see that that thing between my lips that is the thing that i don't like about this lip gloss i think this is disgusting okay you need to take some of that that is you see that put a little bit and so you guys could see like the difference so this is the amount that i usually put so like when you put a little bit you don't get that stickiness pick up whatever you guys want to pick up but if you're on a budget try to get the dupes because they look really really spot on it's not something that you guys are missing if you don't have the fenty collection so with the cover girl you get five fluid ounce and here you get 10 fluid ounce so you get more in the fenty i think that the reason why this look like this is because it's a little bit more on the glossy side and it's a you know it's a little shiny but that's about it and then this one here, you could actually see for subscribing. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.